I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are the Rookie Twins. Welcome back to our channel. doing a chest balance tutorial or you may know it as a chin stand or a chest stand it doesn't matter what you call it I'm sure you clicked on this video because you want to know how to do one of these so before we get on with the tutorial if you guys are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give it a big thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to click that bell so you're notified every time we post a video and follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we post on there every day is a quick cardio warm-up so that our bodies feel warm and ready to go. You can legit do whatever you like, whether that's running, skipping, hopping, burpees, push-ups, whatever gets your heart rate up, that's a good warm-up. Once your back is warm, it makes doing tricks like this so much easier. Now we actually made a tutorial on how we warm up our back every time we warm up for acro and contortion. So that's up on our channel. It's called How to Become Flexible in 15 Minutes and we'll link that down below. So right now we're just going to do a little montage of what we do to warm up our backs. <laughs> Like we said, the more flexible you are, the easier it is for you to find your balance in a chin stand. The following exercises will prepare you for a chin stand. If you're really new to trying chest balance, this is a great exercise to gain strength in your arm. These are called baby push-ups. So you just push your chest up from the floor and your head's trying to touch your bottom each time. or 20 of them would be great. The next exercise is similar position except that you open your legs and you bend your knees and you try and touch your head with your feet. This exercise is stretching the muscles that you will need in a chest balance. You're stretching your head, chest, neck and arms out. Everything's stretched and ready to go. Another good exercise is what we call cradle. So you just lay in your tummy, go back and grab your ankles and then you're gonna pull everything up and you're going to arch your back. In order to hold a chest balance, you have to engage the muscles in your back and your legs. So this next exercise is a perfect exercise for that. Your arms and legs are in a diving position, then you lift your legs and arms off the floor at the same time and create a banana shape with your body. Repeat this five times and try and hold the last one for at least eight counts. And lift. <laughs> and hold. This next exercise are uh, just like leg lifts on your tummy. So the aim is to keep your hips on the ground so that you're using your hamstring muscle. It's also important to focus on keeping your leg nice and straight and your toes pointed. Lift your leg three times and then repeat. Do this five times on each leg. This last exercise is my absolute favorite. So you're gonna lay on your stomach and lift both arms up at the same time and your chest up, then put them down as your legs then go up and down. This exercise is great for building strength and it gives you the idea of the momentum you'll need to roll up into a chest balance. Each time you're trying to lift higher and higher until eventually you can bend your legs a little bit to get up into the chest balance position. Using your momentum you'll get higher each time. Alright, now that we've done all those exercises we are ready to attempt our chest balance. So when you're trying a chest balance, there's actually a few ways of getting into it. So we're gonna show all those ways now. Then you can pick whichever way you feel most comfortable. And remember, everyone's different. balance you have to really think about sticking your hips out and placing your arms by your side ready to go and then your hands hips tummy and chest all go down at the same time press your hands against the floor to help you balance
Obviously the aim in chest balance is to get both legs together and straight. But to begin with, you can try kicking up, bending your legs over your head and then getting to a straight position. When Tegan kicks up, her legs bend and go over her head. Then eventually she can try and straighten her legs and hold her feet together. So legs over and then stretch. And that all happens in one motion. So now show it in one motion. So it goes legs over and up. But guys, if you're really struggling to get your legs straight, you don't have to get them straight straight away. Let's get the balance happening first. So you can practice balancing with your legs bent over like this. It's a lot easier to balance like this. So if you can balance like that, then you can slowly stretch your legs up from there. If you're feeling a little bit nervous about putting your chin on the floor, that's okay, that's normal at first until you get the confidence in rolling up. So we recommend that you put something soft on the floor, like don't be doing this on the hard floor. If you don't have a mat or something soft, that's okay, you can just use a pillow. So just like Sam's doing, she's using the pillow as a precautionary. Do this a few times until you feel like you're not hitting your chin on the pillow hard. Some people find it really hard to hold and squeeze their legs together. If you're struggling with that, you just need to train up your muscles. So how you can do that is by using some trusty toilet paper. Hi, Charlie's Charlie. excited for this step. Okay, so for example, you're gonna need someone to help you out here. So Tegan's gonna go up into a chest balance, and the person will catch the leg and then go like this, and then you have to squeeze your legs together so that you can hold the toilet paper by yourself. This will train your leg muscles to squeeze together. Crawl your knees in, and then you're gonna kick up. Like option one, you can also just try and dangle your feet down over your head as well. And then slowly stretch up from there. And remember there's the other option, this folded option. If you're really struggling to get your legs up, this kind of pushes your body over a bit more to help your legs get up. You just go down the same way. Cross your arms, lean forward, knees crawling up, bottom goes up to the roof, and then kicking up. I personally don't like that one. It feels really weird, like I find it actually hard to get up, like see, more challenging. It depends where the bend is in your back, because for that one, I can see why people who are struggling to get your legs over can do it easier, because this position like pushes you over a little bit more. But that's how I feel, so, Fair enough. Remember, try them all and see which one you feel the best in. If you're really having trouble kicking up, you can try the wall kick off. With the wall kick off, make your way up the wall. Once you're up in position, move your hands to the chest balance position and then just use the wall to push off. It gives you the idea of where your balance is and allows you to practice kicking off multiple times. If you fall down, just push off the wall again. The only thing is it might be slightly awkward to get out of this position. Guys, we really hope that these little tips and tricks can help you get your chest balance or your chin stand. And remember, what helps you get any trick is determination practice. and practice. You've yeah. just got to keep practicing until your body understands what to do. Yeah. And then once you learn how to do it, it's like riding a bike. Yeah, legit, you can do it every time. So now we're going to show you guys some cool tricks that you can do once you have a chest balance. So this week's shout out goes to Nikki Bailey and Dancer Contortionist. Thank you so much for commenting on last week's video. If you'd like to be shouted out next week, all you have to do is comment on this week's video. Comment below what you would like to learn from us next. And remember, we post every single week. So we'll see you guys next, next week. week.